Mali wants the UN peacekeepers to leave by the end of this year, but it is not without drama. On October 14, 2023, the UN spokesperson tweeted, The UN is gravely concerned about the heightened tension and increasing armed presence is known in northern Mali, which is likely to impede the timely and orderly departure of MINUSMA. MINUSMA is the UN mission in Mali. Now, the UN claimed that the Malian authorities had, have not authorized them to send convoys to go and collect their equipment from their bases. They also feared that the withdrawal of the peacekeepers from the region will escalate the violence, a violence that has plagued northern Mali with or without them. But let's not forget that the main reason why the Malian government has asked the UN to leave is the same reason the same government asked the French troops to leave. It's the same reason they asked the Danish troops to leave. Well, sort of. You see, the Danish troops in Mali were invited by the French authorities who did not bother to check with the Malian authorities. Now, when the Malian authorities told the Danish troops to leave, they initially refused. They refused because they said they were invited by La France. However, the Malian government asserted its sovereignty and pressured them to leave and they eventually left. Just imagine you inviting me to your house and I bring a friend. You tell my friend to leave and he says, I'm not leaving because the African diary invited me. I mean, the key word here, here is your house. But back to the story. It's also the same reason why the Democratic Republic of Congo this year has asked the UN to leave. And that reason is the failure to bring peace, stability, and protect the civilian population, not to mention all the sexual allegations. Now, as expected, the Malian government does not want to see the UN drag its feet the way the French army did in Niger. So the country's foreign minister, Mr. Abdoulaye Diop, said, and I quote, everything must be done to ensure the work of MINUSMA is ended by December 31st. He added, the government does not foresee any extension to this deadline, end quote. Listen, in my village they say, it does not matter how outraged the goat is, the feast at the party will still take place. <laughs> Anyways, according to the local officials, the Malian armed forces have started arriving to the northern part of the country, which is almost as big as France, to take over the, to take over the control of the UN bases and reclaim and impose its authority on their territory. Now, according to reports, these armed groups that have been causing havoc in the region are opposed to the MINUSMA leaving and handing over its bases to the Malian army. Just wow. Sensational. What else do they want? Hugs? Nonsense. No wonder the Malian authorities have not authorized the UN to send convoys to collect their equipment from their bases. But regarding to that, the country's foreign minister stated, we are working to find solutions. End quote. I mean, not too long ago, we learned from Niger that these armed groups are well equipped with the latest gadgets. I mean, knowing, knowing all these information, the Malian authorities have every right to be suspicious. Now, let me go finish my coffee. If it's your first time interacting with my content, I would like to welcome you and let you know that I have a podcast on YouTube full of non-political stories. You can find it in the podcast sections of the channel. I also have a book of proverbs which you can access through the link below. Moreover, I create fire content that speaks for itself. Please check out my catalog and thank you for your time. Wait, Nini?